I'm here with King 5's Glenn Farley. Glenn, obviously we're only in day three. Traffic hasn't been too bad so far. So for those of you thinking, hey, this is easy peasy, it's time once again for Think Again with Glenn. Glenn, is reality about to hit us? Uh, reality is about to hit us because as you're about to hear, uh, the rain is a coming. And mm -hmm. that's going to be the big differentiator here. I mean, we're talking to uh, Metro and Seattle Department of Transportation washed out this morning on the sort of the conference call we're all having in the morning. and said, you know, even in the summer, right. we go from a couple of dry days into the rain, people can't seem to handle it. I mean, it is really, in all in all, the peaks have been earlier. Clearly, many people are off the roads. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen triple the number of people on, like, the West Seattle Water Taxi. I know folks taking the train are seeing definitely more crowds and standing room only there. Packed uh, parking lots, that's another issue. Um, and so far, so good. But it's yeah. been dry. The weather has been, for January, this is, like, unbelievably great, right? Yeah. So the and question... And presumably, a bunch of people have stayed home. They have yeah, heated the warnings right, in this week. Right. Uh, but there's also been a few pump fakes we should talk about. Yes. I mean, we had a semi flip over the other day, then we had yes. a horrible train right, incident. Right, right. So here you're watching some of the construction progress. This is paving of that new section of Dearborn. Remember, they cleared out part of the on-ramp onto... Uh, right. The viaduct, this is this is where you're gonna kind of get on to the south end of the tunnel, get off for part of it right there. But I want to show you another picture, uh, one that was captured underneath the Spokane viaduct. Yes, we have more than one. Look at that traffic. The problem this oh morning boy. here in Long East Marginal Way was that there were trains switching, doing something, backing in and stopping. Not just trains Yikes. going through, but stopping. Um, the, the railroads, uh, BNSF at least, has uh, said they're trying to cooperate with this kind of stuff. Apparently this brought in General Mike Warden, who's sort of the emergency fix-it guy that mm -hmm. the city just hired a few weeks ago, former Air Force General. Uh, I don't know about oh. Union Pacific. They were apparently blocking East Marginal Way by their yard there at Argo. They have some uh, trains block out, and they stop and yeah. sit, and then they go back in. So they're trying to get those moved out of the way of this. I mean, everybody's got to work together here. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the other things that's been going on. But we didn't have a lot of highway wrecks. We had right. some big wrecks yesterday. We had like some semi dump truck full of dirt that mm -hmm. wiped out at Northgate. That was kind of not really about this kind of traffic. It was more like this is the stuff that happens. Yeah. But you dump something like that in the middle of this kind of a time. But do not get complacent, do not get complacent, do not get complacent. Well, we because should reference, we've seen that movie before and it's awful. We're an estimated two and a half weeks away from this being right. over with, so... Is it's two it, and a half weeks until it's over. We're three days yeah, into it. People probably You make it sound home. seem so short. <laughs> it's <laughs> only two and a half weeks. No. I mean, that's going to be... We just want to get through week one. As you just referenced with the other viaduct, yesterday I was on a Seattle pedicab downtown, and even they pointed out, yes, the roads seem empty, but even that pedicab rider who rides up and down First Avenue every day said, I can see the patterns already changing. He said, this turn lane, right. there's usually almost nobody in it, and it was lined up down the block right. as people try to we, find routes. We did routes. see more traffic on First Avenue coming in this morning. Yeah. Obviously, the evening commute is just sort of getting rolling. It's typically happening earlier, which is kind of good middle of the day, which could be very congested. A lot of people not doing, apparently not doing sort of optional trips, you know, running to the store. Well, I feel like meeting my buddy for lunch, maybe putting that off. All of that is good, discretionary yeah. travel. So right. if you can keep doing that, bear with us. All right, you've been warned, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, warned. Glenn. Yeah.